Hello and welcome back to another episode of The Workshop, featuring Chronicle RuneScape Legends. In this episode, we're just gonna play some more games. Hopefully get enough gold for a- uh, sorry, copper for a pack. Ooh. Up against a rank 7, uh, copper dude. I wonder if I get wrecked. First blood to me. So we're first player, so that incentivizes me to keep the cannon. That's a bad draw. Wow, this is a horrible draw. That was a horrible draw. And he already has four attack. So the goal is to not let them reach the end anymore. And hopefully find some gold gen. Welcome. It is good to see you again. Hi, Ali Morrison. Hey, there's the 200 gold we need. For a pack, I mean. There are my armor generators. How can I be of service, friend of Al Karid? My path is decided. Okay, so this will gain us armor. We will spend that armor to draw cards. We will get three gold and then we will spend some of that on a heal. Um, I recently found out that there's a card that's essentially a Romley Weeklax, except it's a creature that's like a 6-3 or something. We saw it earlier uh, in one of the fights we had. On a single penguin. That's frustrating, not a, pe not a single penguin. Welcome. It that was a clown card, again. if you guys didn't hear it. There it goes again. Here, have these pies as a reward. So this guy is extremely in the lead when it comes to um, everything. So this kind of scares me for our chances of winning this game, especially if we don't draw Penguin right now. But never mind, we drew a penguin. So hopefully we don't discard a cannon and um yeah. My path is decided. So here we're just gonna Wow, this guy is just gaining a lot of base attack. Oh, we discarded the scorpion, that's fine. He already has five base attack. Wow. Seven attack. He's gonna beat the 15 7 dragon. No? Okay. So he only gains nine health. That's good. Well, he gains 11. So, he's negated most of the damage we've dealt to him. How can I be of service, friend of al -Karid? So hopefully he equips a weapon, hopefully he equips a weapon, and then next chapter, we double cannon his face. Welcome. It is good to see you again. Wow. Well, rather, I hope he fights something wherein it's important for him to have seven attacks twice.
So at this rate, I'm gonna lose the final fight. So we're gonna YOLO, and hopefully he doesn't damage us. Wow, he's not damaging us! We're gonna get the full 27 damage off. Actually, I think it's even more than that because it rounds up. Twenty-eight damage. I think that wins us the game. <laughs> we require four hits. Yeah, we only require four hits and we're first, so that wins us the game. Nice. You could have done no. That just proves to all of you the old adage of face being the place. So we'll play one more game and we'll open the pack that we got. I'm gonna kinda avoid dungeoneering for a while. Mostly because I'm horrible at it. And mostly because we don't have gold for it right now. Beer Jacket. That's a cool nickname. Or title, or whatever. I'm not sure what they're called. I think they're called titles. I don't play RuneScape. That's an excellent start. Going second does not deter me. And an Ali Morrison? Excellent. So we're gonna chuck this and this because uh, this isn't a Linza or an Orzen. So uh, Ariane, it doesn't really use a lot of weapons. All right, uh, I can work with that. I must take you. Oh, this guy, this guy plays fast. All right, so we have Ali Morrison's here. Uh, too bad he goes first, so I don't benefit from that. So here I am. He's gonna play a oh a scorpion. Ouch! And I'm gonna war tortoise it up. There's a Dodecon cannon. An Ali Morrison is played by my enemy. I play my Goblin Brood. I kill it. Deals two damage to him. And gains me some armor and gold, which is really good. And my opponent is gonna spend gold and health to draw cards. That's usually worth it. Two health? Worth the cards. So my opponent came out with... Two more gold than I did, but I have four more health. All right, so I think gold, ge uh, sorry, armor generation is the way to go. So this should give us a lot of armor, and then the next turn we can double cannons. And hopefully my opponent uh, decided. Hopefully my opponent doesn't deal a lot of damage to us, which reduces our damage output with the cannons. That's not what I want to see. Uh, Welcome. It is good to see you again. I don't think he's just drawing cards. Against an Aryan, you have to be very careful of her armor hit. So we can choose to deal 18 damage to her next turn. I mean, that is if she doesn't um, play damaging cards at the start. You know what? I'm gonna take the risk. 
So if I take no damage, she's dead. That's it. It's that Time simple. It's decided. It's a good thing she didn't earth blast me. Oh, she doesn't have enough gold for it anyway. Ah, she got a chucker out. No, that's too less damage. So this will deal seven. Oh, I think I win anyway. <laughs> so unless the last card in her play area is a heal, I win. Nope, she even kills herself. Huzzah! <laughs> Your defeat was certain. Yes. Yes, it was certain indeed. We're almost at level 20. I don't know what this level 20 reward is. That's very exciting. Hey, rank 18. Alright, so let's check our quest and uh, redeem all of these awesome prizes. So these daily quests are cool because they just repeatedly ask you to do the same few quests over and over again. And that's really awesome in my opinion. Actually, we're just a few away from an arena run. Or a dungeoneering, if that's what you want to call it. Do I really want to do this? I'm not fine with the dungeoneering. I don't want to do it. For a second there, I thought I was the richest man alive. I just want to buy some booster packs. I'm not really a big arena player. Again, I play this game because it's such a Johnny game. Because every turn is essentially play a combo, right? And in Dungeoneering, you don't really get to do that. So let's open this basic booster. A little loading and we'll see what goodies we got. I think we got an emerald. Weapon gains plus one plus one. That's not bad. Hey, it's an Ariane card. If you have one base attack, remove six health from the rival. Ah, so this synergizes with her exhaust uh, mechanic. Hey, look, a Ket Zek. I already have two of these. A Cabin Boy. Are you serious? Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I crafted one of these guys. Actually, I even crafted two of him because he's a neutral card and he was really good and he works for the combo that I'm planning to do. So, um, that just goes to show why you should quote unquote never disenchant cards and never craft cards. But hey, trash extra cards. So that's 110. So we're just working our way towards these two awesome cards here we need two reflects and then we can make our combo deck happen so that pretty much does it for this episode of the workshop if you guys have any comments questions or suggestions do put them in the comment section down below and i will be sure to answer without much else to say thanks for watching and good night